Welcome to the awards ceremony of In Focus Photo Exhibit 2021. Erin and I are co-founders of Wild Skies Art Gallery and In Focus Photo Exhibit and Awards. And Alexis is the art gallery curator. The theme of In Focus Photo Exhibit and Awards 2021 is Brave New World. Borrowing from the title of Onyx Huxley's novel, Brave New World, this photographic exhibition captures the world we are living in today. In Focus 2021 photographers present their take on major world issues, how life in Canada is impacted, the good and the bad, the tragic and the hopeful. Does modern life fit a dystopian model or are we on the brink of a new, more peaceful, healthy, happy age? What is our place in the world and how do we make sense of self amidst our rapidly changing ways of life. From COVID-19 to politics, to social and environmental issues, In Focus Photo Exhibit Brave New World is a 2021 must-see Canadian exhibition. The In Focus Photo People's Choice Award was a great race this year. With over 7,500 votes cast, it was great to watch the race. Our runner-up is Edna Cabela. Great job. Our winner of the People's Choice Award 2021 with over 1,600 votes is Christy Wolf. Christy wins a plaque from Technicare and a VizTech gift card. Christy is a photographer from Canmore, Alberta. She is a medical mom and educator that brings together her life experiences and education into a passion for documentary style photography. Through her imagery, she tells the story of her family and many others. Christie's images speak for themselves. They have an intimacy and vulnerability that only someone who has lived this experience would be able to capture. Christie's winning number of votes for the In Focus People's Choice Award is evidence of the difference her photographs are making in the world. Quoting from Christie's art statement, When my son Kane was born eight weeks early in 2012, I had my camera with me during most of the 54 days we spent in the NICU. Six months later, she began sharing her family story through images going on to photograph Kane's heart surgeries in 2013 and 2019. Congratulations, Christy, on the win. The In Focus Landscape Award is sponsored by Technicare Imaging, and the winner will receive a wonderful metal print along with a beautiful plaque printed by Technicare. Honorable mention, Nahani McKay for her photo Loop 14. She's a Métis artist from Banff, Alberta, who photographs the human impact on the environment in the National Parks of Canada. Winner of the In Focus Landscape Award is Angela Bohem of Calgary, Alberta. Angela turned to photography after retiring from a career in business and philanthropy. She is a documentary photographer who creates long-term projects. About her winning landscape work, Angela writes, be it from lightning or a campfire abandoned, forest fires have become a seasonal expectation. Our worries of climate change and the impact on our world grow with each forest's flames. There is, however, a message of hope in these forests. There is much evidence of nature's resilience, of the tenacity of a living forest. Angela Bohem's landscapes are graphic, both in line and in color, almost like abstract art. They are a beautiful merger of storytelling and artistry. Congratulations, Angela. The In Focus Portrait Award is sponsored by Technicare Photo Imaging. The winner will receive a plaque as well as a fine art print. Honorable mention goes to Colin Vince, photographer from Edmonton, Alberta, for his photographs in his self-portrait series. The winner of the In Focus Portrait Award is George Pimentel. George is a photographer from Toronto, Ontario, and is regarded as Canada's most renowned celebrity photographer. Pimentel has had his honors in BA from Ryerson University in Photo Arts. His first celebrity photo was of Robert De Niro at the Toronto International Film Festival in 1993, which marked the beginning of his passion for creating this type of imagery. His work now appears in publications such as People, Rolling Stone, Variety, US Weekly, and Hello. Yet, it is his photography of the life of Toronto residents, ordinary people, during COVID that has earned him the In Focus Portrait Award. 
He has captured heartbreaking, heartwarming, and authentic portraits of Canadians living out our new normal during this global pandemic. His images are iconic and lingering. They are both timely and timeless. We actually have a new award this year, the Canada COVID Portrait Prize. The winner will receive a plaque from Technicare, as well as a feature on the Canada COVID Portrait Prize website and Instagram page. The winner will also receive a gift card to McBain Camera. And the winner is Brayden Brosda of Edmonton, Alberta. Brayden, an electrical engineer, says, In my photography, I both capture and create moments. I fell in love with landscape photography that quickly immersed myself into anything I could shoot. I produce images with simple processing to focus on the composition and story behind the photograph. From the team at Canada COVID Portrait, Brosda's works, Take Cover and Nature Rediscovered, are powerful, evocative, and effectively capture this age of uncertainty and fear that we are currently living through. Brayden's images are two uniquely different takes on the In Focus Photo 2021 theme, Brave New World. One is ominous, mysterious, the other hopeful and reflective. Together, they capture both sides of the public response to the pandemic. As a curator of In Focus, I am extremely proud of all the people who have been involved to get us to this seventh year exhibition. Thank you. And I do hope that if you are able to uh, visit the exhibition in person, visit Wild Skies Gallery at the Renaissance Edmonton Airport Hotel, and also watch our virtual exhibition on the In Focus Photo YouTube channel. Thank you to our amazing sponsors. Our magazine partners, Alberta Views and Preview Art, our award partners, Technicare Premier Photo Lab, VizTech, Canada COVID Portrait, and McBain Camera. Our exhibition partner, Exposure Photography Festival. Our printing partner, Technicare Premium Photo Lab. Our venue partner, the Renaissance Edmonton Airport Hotel.